Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a nice side menu using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. As you can see we have our little hamburger icon right here and when you click it, a nice menu slides from the side with a nice border and a nice hover effect. Uh, when we click again it closes. As you can see it's uh, really cool. Uh, if you're excited uh, to learn how to do this, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you are new here, on this channel I post new videos every single day that will help you become a better web developer and that uh, will allow you to earn more money and ultimately improve the quality of your life. If that is something you're interested in, go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon so that you won't miss any of the new videos I upload. With that out of the way, let's get straight to the coding. Uh, I have an empty folder here on my desktop and I opened it with my text editor which in my case is brackets. I recommend that you code along with me as this is the best way to learn. I'm gonna create the index.html file, the style.css, and the main.js. Now let's go the basic markup, give this a title of uh, side menu, and link our uh, CSS file. So, style.css and go before the closing tag of the body and put our JS file, so script src main.js. Okay, let's start with a basic markup. I'm gonna create a div with an ID of sidebar and inside this another div with a class of toggle button. This will be our hamburger menu icon. And inside this, I'm gonna put uh, three spans, empty spans. Okay, now uh, outside of the sidebar div I'm going to create a UL and inside I'm going to put an LI and inside the LI an A tag, an A element and I'm going to copy this four more times. Uh, let's see, home, about, services, uh, work sample and uh, contact. That's it for the markup. Let's go ahead and open the file in the browser, see what it looks like. Alright, absolutely horrible. Let's go to our style.css and make it look nice. First, let's uh, give some general styling. First, I'm going to make some space here. Okay, so uh, use the asterisk to select everything on the document and remove the margin. So margin 0, padding 0, and uh, that's it. Uh, for the body, give it a font family of Arial sans serif and the background of uh, d11e3c. Let's take a look. Okay. Uh, now, let's select the sidebar. And let's position it, uh, let's give it a position of absolute. A width of 300 pixels and a height of uh, 100%. Give it a gray background, so 333. Uh, and the left, I'm going to put minus 300 pixels, so it's going to be hidden. Uh, but for now, I'm going to uncomment, I'm going to comment this out so we, will, so we will be able to see the navbar as we styled it. And uh, let's take a look. Okay. Uh, sidebar UL less style none. For now, I'm going to uncomment the background too. Okay. And let's give it a margin top of 35 pixels. Hmm. Uh, now, let's select the links. So, sidebar UL LIA. And give them a display of uh, black. A color of white, so FFF text decoration none, that will remove the underline uh, text transform, make it uppercase a font size, make it a little bigger, let's say 20 pixels give it a padding of uh, 20 pixels on top and bottom and 25 pixels on left to right a margin of 15 pixels top and bottom and 20 pixels left to right a border radius of 10 pixels to make the corners a little rounded and the border bottom of 1 pixels solid and use our primary color D11E3C let's see for some reason something isn't working here um, 
Um, let's see. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have put the UL inside the sidebar div. Sorry about that. Uh, let's uh, indent the text here and remove the space. And let's take a look now. As you can see, now it looks uh, normal. And now I'm gonna uncomment the background. Let's see. Okay, this is what it should look like. Now I'm gonna make it so that when we hover, the color is gonna change. So, uh, sidebar, UL, LIA, hover, background, our, uh, we're gonna use our primary color again, D11, A3C. Uh, but uh, it's too abruptly in my opinion, so let's give it a transition. So transition, background, 0 0.3 seconds. And now it's a little smoother, as you can see, it looks nicer in my opinion. Okay, now we're gonna... Let's uh, hide this, so remove the... Uncomment the left minus 300 pixels, and as you can see now it's hidden. Now we're gonna create our um, hamburger menu. So, select the sidebar, uh, dot toggle btn, dash btn. And I'm gonna set it to position of absolute top uh, 42 pixels, left 350 pixels. Now we're not gonna be able to see anything yet. So I'm gonna select the toggle BTN span. You remember we have three empty spans and give them a width of 50 pixels, a height of six pixels, a background color of white, so uh, FFF, a display set it to block, and a margin top of uh, 6 pixels. Okay, that should do it. As you can see, we have it right here. Uh, and as you can see, when I have when I hover over it, I want to change this uh, to a hand. So we're going to say cursor, pointer. And as you can see, I think it, I think it looks better this way. But uh, you know what? I'm not gonna put it on the span because if we put when we hover over the line, but when it uh, shows it, but when we when we're in between the lines, it doesn't. It disappears. So I want to put this cursor pointer on the the whole button. So now it's uh, it is how it should be. Okay, this is it for the. CSS. Oh, one more thing we need to do is uh, we need to select the sidebar, and uh, when when they when it has the class of active, we're gonna select the left and put it to zero, and uh, that's where we will use JavaScript when we add this class of active. It will uh, you notice that the left is minus 300 pixels, and it will slide the, from the side back to zero, and I'm also. First, let's use the JavaScript. So, I'm going to create uh, some variable. So, toggle btn calls document dot query selector um, and the class of toggle btn and another one for the sidebar called document. This time, get element by ID um, sidebar. Okay, and now I'm gonna add an event listener to the toggle button. So toggle btn dot add event listener, uh, a click event, and I'm gonna call this function when we click on the button. And this function is gonna take the sidebar and class list dot toggle active. So uh, what this will do is, uh, when you click on the hamburger, on the menu icon, if it doesn't have the class of uh, active, it will add it, and if it has it, it will remove it. That's what the toggle does. Let's take a look. As you can see, it works, but uh, we're going to add a uh, transition to make it look like it's, uh, it slides from the side. So uh, all we need to do is go to the sidebar and add a transition, a left, 0 0.5 seconds. And that should do it. As you can see, now we have our menu, and if you want this hamburger menu to turn into an X, I have a video on how uh, you can do that. 
using only HTML and CSS, I believe. I'm gonna link. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already for more videos, and um, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.